What's up everyone, CP Modi here back with another video and today we're taking a look at 9.9, a piece of software or actually a website rather that makes installing multiple applications just so much easier. So if you are a networking admin or just the computer guy of your house and you hate going ahead and doing updates to software or if you're deploying a lot of computers and you don't want to manually go to all the different websites, 9.9 can really help you out here. Now recently we put out a video on sort of five things to go ahead and do when setting up a new computer which can be found right up there. But today we're taking a look at 9.9 which is definitely one of those things which is super handy. So let's jump over to the PC and take a look at what we're going to be doing with 9.9. So when we first go ahead and access the website, this is the page that we go ahead and get. It's actually a really clean and simple interface and all we need to do is actually scroll down lower than the page to see what we can choose from. Now all these applications right here are little shortcuts that we can go ahead and tick or untick depending on what we do and don't want and then go ahead and scroll down and hit install now. Now recently 9.9 has definitely increased their library of applications and if you want to submit an application to be added to the installers you can go ahead and send it through their submit link and it's actually really really handy. In the time that I've been using 9.9 a ton of applications have come on board and every single year and month and almost every day really it gets easier and easier to go ahead and use. So I really do appreciate 9.9's efforts. So once we've gone ahead and selected the applications that we wanted by going ahead and checking these boxes, we can scroll down to the bottom and hit get the installer. Give it a couple seconds to go ahead and register this and load through the page and then you'll get yourself a nice little executable that will download. Open up that executable and now the programs will start installing. Essentially the way that 9.9 works is it's a single installer for multiple different applications. So for example if you want to install Chrome, Firefox and a bunch of runtimes rather than having to restart with every application click next and accept and all those kind of things and accidentally get yourself a whole bunch of free deals that you didn't really want basically 9.9 takes all the headache out of all this a simple one okay one install and everything is ready to go there's no need to restart and it is just that simple so once we've gone ahead and selected the applications and they've gone ahead and started downloading they'll automatically install and then basically once they've gone ahead and installed we're left with this window which basically says click close and you are ready to go. All you need to do now is launch up the program and you are done. No need to restart or anything like that which can make deploying multiple computers really really easy. Now if you are deploying multiple computers rather than even having to go through this process every single time just take that single executable that we've downloaded put it on a memory stick and now you can load it up across many many computers. Now the benefit to all this is if you keep that original download file in say six months time or even a year's time if you launch launch that same executable it will actually do an update to the latest software so rather than having to manually update each piece of software just run that same executable and you'll get the latest version of whatever software is on your computer if it's already up to date or is still up to date 9.9 will simply just skip it and continue on with downloading other programs so it's really really powerful in installing programs and keeping your system up to date if you're a little bit more on the pro side you can go ahead and grab 9.9 pro which allows you to do remote management of systems remote install stores and all that kind of stuff which is really really handy but for us the home user it probably isn't really that necessary. But just quickly here are my list of apps that I personally always install when setting up a new 9.9 install. First and foremost I grab myself Chrome and Firefox as we do need some web browsing. Underneath that I usually personally install Steam as I am a Steam user. Moving over from that we also too don't really install anything from messaging because I personally don't like it. Same thing on the document side I don't really install much from documents or even file sharing. I do install 7-Zip and also to WinRAR as those are the two programs I personally use at the same time. I go ahead and usually throw VLC on that guy and also to Audacity as I'm a bit of a creator over here. In terms of online storage, personally I throw on Google Drive but also to Dropbox is a great option. Developer tools, I go ahead and throw FileZilla, Notepad++, JDK8, JDKX64.8 and also to Putty. Not to mention also to Eclipse as those are all the development tools that I personally use. On top of that, I also to install all the runtimes just so it's a little bit easy to go ahead and run on my system. Security wise, personally, I just run the built-in Windows Defender, so for me, there's not too much of a reason to install anything out of security, but Malwarebytes and AVG are also to fairly not that bad. Utilities wise, I also to personally install TeamViewer 12 and also to Classic Start on just about every system, even on Windows 10, because still, I'm not the biggest fan of the Windows 10 Start 
start screen. So there we have it, that is Nanite, and those are the quick applications that I personally install when setting up a new system. Do let me know down below uh, what you think of Nanite, whether you use it or whether you don't use it, or even your own version. Now if you do own a Mac, there is a similar website known as Get Mac Apps, which we'll cover in a future video. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.